Okay, hi guys. Um, to be honest, I couldn't resist the nipple question from a while back. Um, why do we have nipples? Um, as I said, I thought it was pretty self-evident what nipples are for. Um, <coughs> but, oh my god. Um, but thinking about, you know, what, what's, what nipples for, what anything is for, <coughs> got me thinking about the far more interesting question and the far more interesting perspective of what does it mean to to have a specific thing that is for something specific you know um why should a given thing have a very given function um and it's subtler than it seems i mean yeah you know nipples are for this it's obvious um but say something like hands hands are for walking hands are for moving but of course they're not it's bizarre of course they're not but they are but they're not but they are but they're not you know the array of things that hands are really used for could have never been uh planned for or predicted for or even adapted for there's a two-way situation where you have the hands and you have what you do with the hands and sometimes the hands have to change uh, to adapt to what you're doing for example you know they're quite small and fine and maybe more sensitive than they used to be because we're doing very precise small small scale things with our hands but our environment is also being adapted for our hands you know gloves are made for our hands the hands don't have to change the gloves change to fit our hands um you know a mouse is made to fit our hands. Our hands don't have to change for the mouse. Maybe they do. Maybe you get some horrible carpal tunnel syndrome. You know, these things happen both ways. Um, but the point is, you know, you, you could have never made something for something because we've got we've gone way past that point uh, where we we've been modifying things very quickly. And I guess in the context of evolution, you know, hands are an example of something that has uh, re been repurposed quite radically. You could say. Um, and maybe nipples may not have been repurposed that radically at all. Um, so, you know, different parts can do very different things in parallel. Um, and whatever hangover structure you have left, you know, for example, some limbs that should have been used for walking that now are being used for freaking filming yourself or whatever, um, may have different abilities at different points to, uh, to change. Uh, or maybe may have different needs to change. So there are certain parts that are very much sort of preserved. Um, and there are other parts that are very, very sort of subject to change all the time. Even nipples, you know, you could say um, sort of a little bit removed from their sort of original or core purpose. Uh, they may be used aesthetically. They may be used for nothing at all um, whatsoever. Uh, and I suppose, you know, arguably, um, a lot of children may have been um, born who were never fed their mother's milk at all. Um, so that core purpose was not even achieved or done, you know. Um, so, yeah, you know, what are nipples for? Well, what's anything for?